This is a thermodynamics experiment that I've got going on here for class. I'm doing a renewable energy system in which uh, batteries here are uh, full of energy which is being transferred to this here watt meter which is a very handy device that records uh, eight parameters of DC electricity, uh, voltage, current, uh, wattage, watt hours, amp hours, and several peak values. Uh, it's flowing through that which is recording data into this inverter that's taking the uh, 12 volts DC from the battery, as you can see there, there are two batteries wired in parallel. Uh, the inverter is a 700 watt inverter, which is taking the uh, 12 volts, stepping it up to around 120 volts, and it's feeding this lamp here, but it's doing that through a uh, AC power meter here called a kilowatt meter. And right now it's measuring kilowatt hours, but we can also tell it to do just watts. The 60 watt bulb is doing 63 or 68 watts, depending on who you believe. And that's because the voltage is a little bit higher. It's 126.2 volts, 130 there. And uh, one interesting thing about this inverter is that the uh, frequency is not 60 hertz like you would expect. It's actually, you know, 12, 11. I've seen it go as low as 8. You can't see it in the video, but the screen is actually kind of pulsating there, which is sort of weird. Um, and all that's just going into a incandescent bulb here. Uh, this is a 30 amp hour battery bank, and it um, generally gives me about three hours. Um, running this 60 watt bulb through the um, inverter here. The efficiency I found to be about 57 to 60 percent through a couple runs, uh, which is a lot better than I was thinking originally. Um, I charge the batteries up uh, with a uh, 24 volt charger just because it's what I've got through the same kilowatt meter which tells me you know, what my total system efficiency is. Uh, I do watt hours in from the kilowatt uh, while charging and then I do watt hours out through the inverter and that gives me total about 60% or a little bit less. Um, these meters are both really handy things to have if you're a hobbyist. This will help you out if you're a homeowner. You can find out what your uh, devices are drawing, which can be handy for estimating costs. And then if you're more of a modeler or someone that messes around with DC stuff, this will give you a lot of cool information. You can see there it's got your current voltage and wattage right now constantly and then it's also cycling through every few seconds there a variety of uh, other values that are also handy to know. So if you're running any sort of experiments for school or just for your own enlightenment uh, like I do sometimes, uh, this can be a very handy thing to have also um, just for messing around with model airplanes or cars or anything like that. It does up to 100 amps peak which is pretty cool. Um, if you do something like this, have a good time.